Vamos ver. So this is a sit. Stay. This is a new dog I got that sit. New dog that I got that I'm working with. Um, named Shiloh. Belongs to a buddy of mine. I'm gonna be doing a two week board and train with him. Uh, he already knows a lot of this stuff. Sit. That he taught him already before he got to me. But uh, he's basically what he's here for is he's here for a tune up. I'm gonna work on some things with him. Um, sit, things like that. Um, so what, what we're working on is stay. His here is already really good, so we're not gonna do anything with that. And then down, which he he's not he knows it, but he's not real sure of it. He doesn't he doesn't know that he has to do it when he's told. He had to tell him a few times. So we're going to get him to the point where he has to do it. He just does it as soon as you tell him to do it. Uh, I've had him about two days now. I just haven't made a video of him yet. So this won't be an evaluation video. This will just be a, this will just be a kind of a deal where I'm just telling you what I've been working on with him since I didn't get a video in on the first day. So I'll show you here where he is after the first uh, two days. So he's decent on the hand signal for down. Hey, down. Just gotta pay attention. Come here. Sit. Down. Good. Down, and then he he wants to get right back up. See, then he directly down. And then his biggest deal is to walk away, and he has a hard time holding the command. So when you say down, he shouldn't have to say stay if you want to walk away. If I say sit, he sits. Or if I say down, he downs, and I should be able to walk off and do whatever I want. He should just assume that when I give him a command, it means keep doing that command until I tell you otherwise. That's what our goal is here. So, come here. Down. And he got it right back up. Correct. Here, down. I'm gonna walk away. Down. Down. Here. Here. Down. And try to walk away again. And now he's staying, so that's good. I'll try to get him down at halfway. And if I, I'm going to follow him and down him at halfway, and I'm going to have to make a big deal of it because he doesn't know what I'm doing yet. So there's going to be a lot of body language and stuff involved. Here. Down. Here. Here. Down. Here, here, down. Here, 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 down. Down. Try it one more time. Here, down. Here, come here, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I'll take him back. All right, then. Come here. Down. Down. Here, here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Come here, buddy. Come here. He's unsure. He's, it's kind of scary. Nobody's ever had him do that. Down. Down. Alright, one more time here. And then if he doesn't do it, I'll correct it. And then we'll he should do it after that. Here. Down. Good. Here, here, here. He's a boy. Come here, buddy. He's unsure of it. He knows I want him to do something. And he, know, he knows that I want him to lie down, but he's never lied down at that halfway point before. He's always been right next to you. And so he's a boy. So they, basically, he's just trying to avoid so that he can't, so that he doesn't have to do it. But not, that's not really an option. But he's going gonna, he's gonna to have to learn it. Come here, buddy. Down. Stay. Or, uh, I contradict myself there. I'm not supposed to say that. It's down. Here. Here. Down. Shadow. Here. Try again. Come here. Right here. 
down. Here, here, down, down. See, I got a little lower there. It's, uh, I get lower to the dog's level, and that makes uh, a little less pressure on the dog. You get down to their level, and it scares them a little bit less. And so they'll do things a little bit better. But uh, after the second time, he'll know what I want him to do, and uh, we'll try to do it standing up. No, come here, come here, right here. You always take them right back to where they messed up and you make them do it right. Down, down, down. You always correct the behavior where, where they messed up. You don't correct it where, you don't correct it after they've already, or well, um, you don't wait for them to come to a different location, I guess and then correct them because that's just going to confuse them. You got to take them back to exactly where it happened, correct them there, and they can do it right exactly where it happened. Down. Down. Good dog. Down. We're going to make a big deal of it here since he's so unsure and he just did it perfectly. We're going to make a big old deal of it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. with me but that he uh, wanted me to do leash work with him so we'll probably start on that stuff tomorrow maybe I'll, I might even get into it a little bit tonight there just won't be a video of it but uh, I'll do a little bit of leash work and work on some of this other stuff that I just showed you a little bit more and, uh, should be a video probably by the end of this week I'm guessing depending on how things go but yeah Come here. Sit. Down. Shallow. Down. See, he, so he's learned. Here. Sit. Right here. Sit. So basically, he's learned that right now he knows that he has to lay. He has to lie down on the second time you say it. We want to get it down to the first time. He's learning a bad habit right now. Of waiting for me to say it the second time. Come here. Sit. Uh, he's learning a bad habit right now of waiting for me to say it the second time. Because right now in his brain, he thinks that, oh, he says it the first time and that's just a warning. And then um, he says it the second time and that's when he's serious. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna say down. A little bit of body language there. He saw that little correction coming. That's a good dog. Come here. That's it. Go ahead. Down. That's a good boy. See, I gave him a chance there to do it before I corrected him. I didn't just correct him as soon as he uh, almost messed up. Sit. Go ahead. Nope. Sit. Go ahead. Down. Good boy. And see, he's, he's already made a little bit of progress just in the time that I've been working with him on this video. 
Sit. Good. Down. Good dog. Here. Down. Nope. Down. Good boy. See, he, he kind of turned this way. He was about to avoid, and I said no and got his attention and told him to down again, and he downed. But uh, we'll get him off that unsureness, and we'll get him a little bit more confident with his commands and all that. But uh, he's one of he's one of those pretty uh, pretty intelligent dogs. He's a Texas healer, and I believe he's a Texas healer mixed with a border collie. I'm not sure on that. I think I think that's what it is though. If I'm wrong, I'll. I'll update you guys and tell you what he really is. But I think he's a Texas healer mixed with a border collie. <clears throat> but yeah, he's going to be a really good one to work with. That's why we're only doing the 14 days, the two-week board and train. Just because, I mean, it's not really, unless he wanted, uh, it's not really worth it to the owner for the thing to do the 30-day training. Since all he wants is just to touch up on a few things. It wouldn't be worth it to have him pay the full $650 when all he has to do is do a two-week board and train and pay the $330. Because it's not like it's, like it's going to be hard to teach this dog anything. But anyway, come here, buddy. I'll get off here and get back to work and get this video posted. See y'all later.